What happens when two hard-working mums down tools and go on strike for four days, leaving their homes and children in the hands of their husbands? Which dad will cope best with the challenges mum has set? Will golf crazy Chris get into the swing of things? Or will football-loving Gary prove to be a Premier League dad? Our family advisor Anna Rabin will be watching to see if the dads can make light work of the challenges ahead. Dads often say, how hard can it be to take care of the kids in the house? Well, they're about to find out. <laughs> First, let's meet the Redshaw Days. There's cool Callum, age six, and his baby brother Alexander. Mum Sandra has done everything around the house since Alex was born. And Chris, who will find any excuse to get out of changing nappies. Number ones, I don't mind. It's number two. That's the one I... I dread doing. I think he expects everything to be done so that when he comes home, he doesn't have to do anything. I hope I do a good job. Not too good, because otherwise she's say I can do it all the time. But first, Sandra wants to test Chris to see how much he knows about family life. How many nappy changes does Alex usually have a day? Five. What is the name of Callum's teacher at school? Miss Jackson. What time does Callum start school? Ten and nine. How many tablespoons of cereal does Alex have for his breakfast? I ain't got a clue. Only 50%. It's not good enough. So Sandra is packing her bags. I'm going on strike because since I've had Alex, you expect me to do all the work around the house. There are three mums on strike rules. One, no TV. <laughs> Two, no takeaways. And three, no phoning your mum for help. P.S. I've taken the car keys because I have to use the bus, so do you. PPS, I've taken something else, but you'll find out soon enough. Love, Sandra. PlayStation? No. Yes. She's took the PlayStation. What are we going to do now, then? While Chris works out how to entertain the kids, Sandra's off for four days of relaxation at the McDonald Brandon Hall Health Spa. This is nice. And to ensure he plays by the rules, she'll be watching his every move. Day one and Chris is having trouble getting going. Wait, cut him up, get his breakfast. Yeah, it's all right for him, not late for him. Yeah, having a rush to do his stuff to get him ready. I can't believe he's only just got up. Callum, can you have your wash? Put your dressing gown on and come down and have your breakfast, please. He's overslept and hasn't ironed Callum's uniform. You might want to turn that iron on, Chris. <laughs> oh, boy. I think we're going to be a little bit late. Oh, Chris! Just in case you're in a hurry, they make these rain covers foolproof. Yeah? Yeah, you do that. Because, after all, you could be caught in the rain. Is that the wrong way? You trying to help your dad? Yeah. Callum, Callum, can you wait by the door, please? No. Come on, Chris, the clock's ticking. <laughs> right. Got your school bag? Yeah. Right, you ready? If at first you don't succeed, improvise. It's got an umbrella. Come on, it. Go on. Oh. Come on, it. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got into school a few minutes late, though. I knew it'd be late. But they only just finished registering, registering the children in, so he hasn't missed anything, it's the main thing. And Alexander, he's lovely and dry. But what about you, mate? I'm soaking. Time to meet our second family, the Davies. There's Leah, age four, and three-year-old Chloe. 
Together they run rings around their mum. Whilst Michelle is in the middle of it 24 hours a day, Gary's idea of housework is ordering a takeaway to eat in front of the telly. He watches football. He watches football, and if he's not watching football, he watches the adverts in between football. My idea of housework is empty in the fridge. <laughs> That's about it. Before Michelle goes, she wants to know how much Gary knows about the household routine. What is Chloe's playgroup called? Can I call back that one? What is Leah's favourite food? Shepherd's pie with cheese on. What is Chloe's birthday? 2nd of September. Who is Leah's best friend at school? Don't know. Two out of four, not bad, Gary, but there's still no stopping Michelle. She's off. Dear Gary, I have gone on strike for a variety of reasons. However, my main reason for going away is to give you the chance to spend some quality time with Chloe, who, through no fault of your own, you don't really know yet. I believe that you will come out of this experience a more capable father, and you will remember these next few days with pride. I have left instructions for dinner tonight. Best of luck. Your first challenge is to talk to the kids and not shout. Love from Michelle. She's right. <coughs> we'll be challenging. So while Gary is left to rise to the challenge, Michelle will be relaxing for four days in the Garth Hall Hotel and Spa. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. It's day one for Gary, and Michelle has left him with his first surprise. I've forgotten to mention, Leah and Chloe need their first dentist appointment this afternoon. Best of luck. <laughs> He's going to need it. I don't even know where the dentist is. Right, teeth brushed. Well, I'll find out where this dentist is. At least it reminded him to brush their teeth. With school around the corner, Gary's leaving with plenty of time. Right. Hang on, Leah. Better show me the way. But does he know which corner it's around? Which road do we... I don't even know where we're going. Where are we going, Leah? You can walk. You're going to get lost. <laughs> well, which way should we have went? Which way is he taking them to school? Good morning. Where's the school? Up that one. This way or that way? Which way? Just taking them right the way around the town. They only have to walk up the street. This way. No, not that way. That way? Right, come on then. You're going the complete wrong way, Gary. I've only been once. We're there. Oh, we've made it. We need to get you there on time. Coming up, will Chris cope with those dreaded number twos? Oh, boy. <coughs> and Leah is a broken record. Something in there that I don't like. What don't you like? Something in there that I don't like. Hard-working mums Sandra and Michelle are on strike. They've left their husbands to deal with the kids and chores. While they relax at a luxury spa, they'll be watching Dad's every move. It's lunchtime on day one, and Chris has to feed Alexander for the first time. Here you go. Yeah! See, I don't know if I'm giving him too much, too big a spoons or too little. I can't get in there quick enough now. Time for changing nappy, hey? See if it'd be the same as the first one for Daddy, yeah? <coughs> and you'll save all the others for Mum when she gets back. <coughs> oh, I don't think so. No. <coughs> oh. <laughs> oh, boy. I'll be honest, when it's like, she goes, do you want to change his nappy? I kind of say, well, I can't do uh, my cup of tea or get the dinner started or something to just get out of it. At least you're learning. After that, it's time for some fresh air and to get Callum from school. But on the way, Mum has a surprise in store. Callum's got some friends coming around, Owen and Nicole. I thought they could make Play-Doh. You'll need flour, salt and oil. Good luck. I will need good luck. <laughs> Back home, Callum and his mates are ready to start getting messy. But will Chris make a mess of the Play-Doh? Right. Where are they gone? <laughs> All up there. Right, come on in. Flour. Flour. Salt. Oil. Yeah. And colouring. We've got some colouring. You've got green, blue, blue, 
and Blue. yellow. Whose yeah. turn is it now? Nicole's. Yeah. Right, go on in. All of you go in there and mix it up. <laughs> go on in, stir it in. Okay, Phil, it's alright, it's alright, don't worry. Right, when do you think we have to put the colouring in? Oh, uh, about 10 minutes you have to do that. No. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, not his walk. His walk is his pride and joy. No, let me let me have a go. No, you, no, you can't do that because it's very hot and I'm burning my fingers <laughs> and I shouldn't have done that then. It's really, really I would have to change from top. No, no. Looks like Chris will have to do some washing. I don't know if this is going to work. It's all gooey, isn't it? I thought, you had, I thought you did it right. Well, I thought I'd done it right, but there's something gone wrong here, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's worked out well. tell you how Not so much play dough as play don't, but luckily the mums are here to collect Callum's chums. See you later. Bye. See you, bye. It's time to clean up and bath time for Alexander. <sighs> Daddy's sweating. It's the first time Chris has ever washed a baby. That's it, Dump. <laughs> we'll lift his head up then. One final task, putting Alex in his baby grow. Shouldn't take a minute. <laughs> Five minutes later and the hard work is beginning to show on Chris's face. <laughs> Poor Alex. He's dripping in sweat. Dad's sweat. Oh, I've got you now. Oh, right. Yay! <laughs> Oh, that arm was hard work. Finally, Alex is washed and dressed, and it's time for bed. Right, no night. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. No night. Be honest with you, I do feel tight. It was, uh, was knackering. But um, she can still have her job back when she gets back. <laughs> <laughs> Chris got off to a rocky start. His timekeeping is awful and Callum was ten minutes late for school and none of it was necessary. Children don't have the same sense of pressure attached to time as adults, so all Chris had to do was move the clock back a few minutes or set the alarm on his mobile phone. Across town at the Davies, it's the afternoon of day one and Gary is taking the girls to the dentist. And have you been to the dentist before? Yeah. Did you get in the chair last time or not? We got some false teeth in there, Leah. Told you she'd be scared, didn't I? I nearly was scared, yeah. <laughs> Wee, is that good? We're just going to put a little bib on you, okay? So E D C B A, A B C D E. Nice and wide. It was a good idea using that e, false B, C, tooth because I suppose that put them at ease. Aren't they lovely? She's got all the teeth out. Oh, They're absolutely got... fine. Where did you get that? Next, it's Chloe. Will she spit the dummy? Yeah. Morning, it, Chloe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe how good they've been. Can you open wide again? Good girl, Chloe. Very good. Same as your sisters. They're super. Good girl, her teeth as well, like you. They're both doing really well, brushing oh, really well. I'm really pleased with them. Say bye bye. Bye. Back home, Gary has a plan to make time fly. The cunning plan is. Bring everything forward an hour, so their dinner is an hour earlier than what it usually is. The bath time is an hour earlier than what it usually is. And the bedtime is an hour earlier than what it usually is. So, we can accommodate the football. Hopefully, the plan will work. We'll put it into practice again tomorrow. But Michelle has other ideas. Forgot to mention, my mum's coming round for dinner. Another one coming for dinner. Don't call your mother-in-law a witch. Well, while this is doing, so I can keep them occupied, I'll make the face paint them into a witch. So I'll make you look like Nana. Oh, wrinkled. Mm. Hang on, darling. So where's Chloe? Are you doing Chloe's face as well? Gary, don't forget you're the father of two. Stay your mince, Gary. What's happened to you? You're a scary monster. So I guess Chloe didn't get done then. I've put the onions in the wok with the mince right. with some gravy and began to cook it. But the wok's broke. Well, the gas was on too high. Right. I've just burnt a little bit on the bottom, but I've, I've, I think I've pulled it round. 
You may not recognise it, but Gary has made Leah's favourite, shepherd's pie with cheese. So far, so good. But the proof of the pudding <coughs> is in the eating. I think it looks very nice, Gary. I think you've done a grand job. We will soon see, cos it's Leah's favourite food. I don't like it. Mm. Something in there I don't like. Like what? There's something in there I don't like. What don't you like? Something in there I don't like. What don't you like? There's something in there I don't like. What don't you like? There's something in there I don't like. What don't you like? Something in there I don't like. And what don't you like? There's something in there I don't like. Tell me what it is. I don't know. Oh, that's cleared that up then. But that, that's got. Still doesn't look like she's enjoying it too much. Time is getting on, and Gary has to rush the kids to bed before the match. I've learnt that it's hard work, but I think I've had them on their very best behaviour today. I know they can be ten times worse, and that's when the stressful day comes into it. I think I might have one of them tomorrow or Saturday, but I can't have three days like this. The venture well behaved. Just feel like going to bed with the kids, but there's a match on, so I can't. With the kids asleep, Gary feels watching TV is a rule bent, not a rule broken. Get in there! Come on! Gary took the children to the dentist and he did well. The most important thing is for children to be familiar with the dentist. They can come along with you on your appointments, or you can bring a friend's children along too. But long before anything has to happen, this has to be part of their lives. It's day two. Callum's at home and without the games console. How will Chris keep him amused? Chris, what can I do? What can you do? Why don't you, uh... Why don't you build me a rocket for your Lego? Yeah. Well, go have a little surprise. He's going to take him to the driving range, hit a few balls. It'll be his first time, so I think he's going to be a bit excited about that. I can't believe he's making him go golf. How boring. But with the car banned, how's Chris planning to get them to his beloved golf club? Looks like we just missed the bus. We got away over another two hours. And if we do that, it's going to get dark, isn't it? So, uh, should we, uh... Take the car. Take the car. Yeah. Break. No, you're not allowed to. Break, break the walls, yeah? Just, yeah. A, just a little bit, just a tiny bit, because we want to go to golf, don't we? Yeah. What a cheat. I thought Mummy had the keys. Ah, but I've got the spare space. <laughs> Man, you're so cool. <laughs> At the golf club, Chris is teaching Callum how to get in the swing of things. Right, now this, go on, you swing your arms up. Let's slowly come down. Oh, look at that. You made it go that way. <laughs> right, we'll put a ball on, yeah? Now, take your time. Yeah. yeah! That was a good one, that one. Yeah, well done. Alexandra's enjoying it, look. That's what his mum would be doing if she came up here. <laughs> I would. Three. This is a sort of washing up and washing Sandra's left me to do. Oh, Tiger Woods. One. That is a good one. I like that one. That was very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, you want a high five, do you? Yeah, well done. You're not getting into golf, though, Callum. Back home for dinner, and it's time for one of Chris's wok cooked specialities sweet and sour chicken. And hungry. Really hungry. Very hungry. So, what's your secret, Chris? Pretty simple, really. Just a uh, cooked chicken. So make sure it's cooked. Get a jar. So this is enough, just put it in, stir it, let it simmer, ball of ice, hey presto. After all that hard work, dinner is served. You all right? Mmm, yeah. That's nice. I'm going to all. Good. Just one last job before bedtime. Chris has to grade Callum on his homework. This is first time you've, is it the first time you read that one, isn't it? Yeah. So you read really good, didn't you? Yeah. Right, but read really well. R. Yeah, R. E. 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 Yeah, come on. Why is Callum writing in his reading record when Chris is supposed to be writing in it? Well, l. L. Stop, well done, that's it. After a long second day, 
How does Chris think he's doing? I think today went better than yesterday. I had more time with Callum today as well. He say went at golf. He enjoyed that. He done really well his first day. Uh, yeah, I think I think today's gone pretty smoothly. Chris is a golfer, and he cleverly sneaked in a game under the guise of introducing six-year-old Callum to the joys of the putting green. Callum had quite a nice time, but let's not make any mistake about this. It was about Chris, not Callum, so don't expect any brownie points from Mum. Day two and football mud Gary is getting Leah off to school and looking forward to a day playing with Chloe. But Michelle has other ideas. It's a text from Mummy. Don't forget to look after the house. Make sure that the bathroom sparkles. Love, Michelle. Time to get your gloves on. Never cleaned a bathroom. He's never cleaned a room. First, washing the bath. But what's he using? Washing up liquid. To start. Then I'll polish it with glass and shiny surface cleaner. Mm. Why? Why? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. I can't believe that he's cleaned the toilet first and then cleaned everything else with the cloth. Shouldn't really be doing them with the one I've just done the toilet with, should I? Bye. Do you want to wash Bernard? No, I don't wash Bernard. You just hoover Bernard. Why is he called Bernard? Because he's a bear and he's hard. <laughs> oh, he's going to be yellow now. Better leave him. <laughs> well, darling. What's now what's he cleaning with? He was cleaning with one of my blouses there. What do you think about coming home and doing do this? It. I don't no. actually sweat this much at work. Now, now. <sighs> That's hard graph, that. But, Gary, haven't you forgotten something? Leah has to be picked up at half past eleven. We forgot about Leah. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. We've got five minutes to get to school. I'm nearly late for you, you know. I nearly forgot. Back home and Michelle has challenged Gary to do some artwork with the kids. She wants him to paint stones with them without repainting the house. Got them decked out in my old working clothes. <laughs> Hopefully, try not to make too much of a mess of the house. <sighs> Can't see that happening. Your paint looks head. Oh, we've got a big fringe now, hasn't it? Oh, you just took his eye out. And he's doing it with them, that's good. Yay! His eye. Looks like his relationship with Chloe is growing. He's trying hard, but will Gary's patience last? Don't even think about it. Leia, come on. Leia, don't dare. Oh, look! Right. That's enough now, bath time. <laughs> it was only an accident. Somebody's overtired, so bath time leads to bedtime. But how does Gary feel? Be honest, mentally drained. Even when you've got five minutes for a ciggy or whatever, you're still looking around, see where they are, what they're doing. I'd like both of them to be naughty for an hour to see how I'd react. So if she comes back and they've been goody two shows for three days, four days, and then they start playing up, she'll kill me. Michelle wants Gary to improve his relationship with his younger daughter, Chloe, and today he's done really well. It's very important to give all of your children equal amounts of attention and not favour one over the other. Coming up, there's a sense of déjà vu as Chris tackles his old enemy. I haven't got a clue. And Gary gets his wish as his little angels start to play up. No, 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 no! And Michelle are on strike. They've left the dads to cope with the kids and chores at home while they've been relaxing at a luxury spa. Day three and Chris has got Callum to school on time. But it's Alexander who's got a morning surprise. Oh, dear. Caught me by surprise, haven't you? Now, have you finished? Uh, no more. You've got more. How much have you got? You've got loads. You've been saving it for me, eh, for the last day. It's lucky I'm getting good at this now, isn't it? He may have sussed nappy changing, but Sandra wants to get her own back after he took the car yesterday. So she set him an extra task. Stop using all the food I've made for Alex. Make some of your own. Love, Sandra. So Chris is off to the shops, but can he work out that buggy cover? I haven't got a clue. I've not got a clue at all. The mums are going to be laughing at me now, aren't they? I can't believe how long it's taken. Flip the hood up. I think I've worked it out. 
Oh, Chris, the straps go round the wheels. Okay. I can get through. Oh, it's not raining as hard now, is it? Chris has decided to make potato and carrot puree, just like Sandra's. 774. Thank you. Thank you very much. But will Alexander spot the difference? One medium carrot. What do you call a medium carrot, though? Well, that's a big one, so we'll say that's the medium one, yeah? Express breast milk. Oh, I haven't got none of that. Tage more, and that'd be it. Well, that might be too much now. I'll tell you. Exactly how much water do you need, Chris? No way. <laughs> ah, that much. That's it, spot on. Puree the vegetables. I'm not good at French. I'm looking forward to using this. That's it. All systems go. It seems to be edible, but what will Alexander think? This is lovely, isn't it? You can't wait to get it. A resounding success. Yeah, cool. Careful, wipe your feet. Chris collects Callum from school, and tonight's homework is quiz time. So, did you enjoy school today? Yep. What did you do? Um, I done about the olden days of the um, hospitals. And here's your starter for ten. Chris, do you know about um, uh, this girl whose her name starts with her, then her second name's t No. That's a famous nurse with the initials F and N. No, I don't. That's a hard one for me. Uh, Florence Nightingale? Homework over. It's time for bed. No, not I didn't. No, no. School tomorrow, yeah? Mum's taking you to school now, so you won't be late. You can tell from the very first day, it's totally different. You know, I can do it a lot quicker, I'm a lot more confident, and know what I'm doing. <laughs> Day three at the Davies, and the girls are playing up. No, 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 no! Fighting! You two! What I told you! But to make matters worse, Michelle has a surprise for them. Why don't you take Leah and Chloe to the outdoor farm for a treat? So it's off to the farm to learn about the animals. Run, run, run! Chloe! Chloe! Got to feed them! Come on, then. Ow! Pick me! What are they? Yeah, doggies. Doggies? Yeah. Oh, not doggies, them, Chloe. They're <laughs> cows. What do the cows do? Yeah, yeah. Quack, quack. Yeah. I'm going to sit and have a talk to you, I think. Yeah. Too many kids in here. It's a bit tricky, but they've all got the same coloured coats on. I keep seeing about 15 layers. Lilac seems to be this year's black. You can see 15 leers, but what about Chloe? Daddy! The worst in shed. Daddy! We lost one. There you are, Daddy. What have you seen now? Ah, there she is. Can I give him some food? Yeah. Right, wait there, I'll get some food for him. Well, Leah's just fell in love with the guinea pig. She's fell in love with the big fat pig. That reminds me, Michelle's back tomorrow. And on that note, the house is a bit of a pigsty. Right. Gary's done the house, but is he ready for Michelle's return? My relationship with Chloe is a lot closer now. I'm not just that bloke who comes in and shouts. She's not a little baby anymore. I look at her as a little baby. But she's becoming a little girl, isn't she? And frightening in a way. It's day four, and the mums are enjoying their final few moments at the spa before heading home. But which dad will come out on top? Will it be golf mad Chris, who was beaten by the buggy? Mums are going to be laughing at you now, aren't they? Almost bathed over the baby. <laughs> and boycotted the bus. Should we, uh Take the car? Take the car. Yeah. The main thing a lot to see change is that, that Chris helped me out a bit more at home. Or will it be gold mad Gary? He couldn't cook a culinary delight. I still couldn't I don't like. Cut corners on the way to class. This way or that way. But he did get closer to cute little Chloe. Yeah. No, he's done really well. He's looked after the kids well. They seem to have got... They just they don't even think, seem to have noticed that I've gone missing. 
Strike over, and Mum Sandra's crept home. You're a pretty good boy. Yeah, thank These you. These are for me. I appreciate all the work you do, and it's still your job. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Will you get the PlayStation back, Chris? Yeah, Mum's back. <laughs> I knew they'd be more excited about the PlayStation. After a shaky start, Chris managed to spend some quality time with the children and even to fit in a round of golf, so well done. But he couldn't wait for Mum to come back home and take over. Gary didn't want to be someone who constantly shouted at his kids, but over the past few days, he's proved that he can keep his temper and appreciate his kids more. He even cleaned the bathroom, which has got to make him my dad of the day. <laughs> Dad of the day for performing general household chores, organising the kids and valiant attempts at multitasking. Congratulations, you have won a family trip to Flamingo Land. Yeah, yeah. Flamingo Land! <laughs> <laughs>